I am living my life the way that I think should be lived, and that's um, staying pure. So. so you really believe in no sex before marriage? No, I don't at all. Traditional ideas about purity are suddenly everywhere. We've so over-sexualized our society. We're robbing these kids of their innocence. And it's breathing new life into a very old idea. And so I want to talk to you today about pursuing the mission of purity. Purity rings? Purity, yes! Purity, okay, let's talk about that. Yes, I am a virgin. I just want to wait for that special someone. Women are still led to believe that our moral compass lies somewhere between our legs, literally. Each year, thousands of purity balls where young girls pledge their virginity to their fathers are held across almost every state in the country. I just want to say thank you for making this event, you know, the father-daughter purity ball, a lifestyle and an everyday thing. Politicians increasingly extol the virtues of abstinence and virginity. We want to see kids wait before they start having babies and sex. And all told, American taxpayers shell out about $50 million a year on abstinence-only education in our schools, almost half a billion since 1996. There is no such thing as safe sex. This girl's gonna end up sterile or dead. But the abstinence-only movement has never been about science, public health, or concern for young people. The abstinence-only programs had no impact on whether or not participants abstained from sex. They feel that they're remaining abstinent, not having vaginal intercourse, and they're seeking other ways of having sex. So here's the biggest question of all. What is it about virginity that's so politically useful to the conservative movement? It is press that a man marry a virgin. Young man, if you're dating a woman who boasts of being a feminist, who uses every four-letter word in the Marine Corps manual, who wants no children, who wants to drag you around like a dog on the end of a rope, run! What the virginity movement really wants from women is submissiveness, and they've been prescribing a return to traditional gender roles as the cure. A woman's deepest fulfillment is in motherhood. And I think, too, that you underestimate the pride that women take in domesticity. And if you listen closely, a pretty clear theme emerges. Now, feminism is what I oppose, and feminism has led women astray. Feminism is sexism. Uh, feminism is the fraud of the century. Virginity movement extremists may sound ridiculous, but the results of their politics could not be more real. Planned Parenthood does 330,000, more than 300,000 abortions each and every year. It is child abuse. And I shall be looking for ways to unfund every other entity like them that promotes abortion or provides abortion. Planned Parenthood is invested in promiscuity. This is a full-on virginity movement actively working to roll back women's rights using the purity myth to do it. Jessica, you call it a myth, a purity yeah. myth. What do you mean? What do you mean? The purity myth is the lie that women's sexuality has some bearing on who we are and how mm -hmm. good we are. Because really, I think that we all know that young women are so much more than whether or not they have sex. Mm -hmm. right. We really should be teaching our daughters that their ability to be good people is based on their intelligence, their compassion, their kindness, not what they do with their bodies. And the man needs to pursue the woman. You know, some people think, oh, that's just sexist. That's, oh, that's, you know, all these antiquated ideas and gender stereotyping. Personally, I love gender stereotyping. <laughs>